So Gemini, you know, there's hesitancy for both of you on both of your parts, but you've gone for a change in perspective or perspectives. You might not even know that you've done, um, gone, uh, taken that journey, let's say that. So let's start your reading and I'm going to explain to you exactly what is going on. Hello Gemini. Welcome to my channel. Welcome back to uh, my channel. For some of you guys, hope you guys are doing well. So this is your general, your general love reading for March. We're going to take a look and see who's showing up in your reading. See what they're thinking and feeling regarding itself, and of course, or vice versa as well. Feel free to jump ahead to the start of the reading, guys. It is timestamp. Okay, so this section is really for those that just kind of prefer to see me shuffle on camera. Okay, as I always say, please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. And if this isn't your story, if I don't pick up, you know, on your story, you can always stick around as sometimes there could be just messages throughout this that uh, just jump out and speak to you. And of course, just use this as a guide to support you and move you in the direction of where you're wanting to go because ultimately we, we create our own reality. So give me a moment to just finish laying these cards and I'll be going to take these in. So Gemini, let's start your reading. And of course, take whatever side resonates with you guys and picking up is this being your side, personally dealing with over here, but you can always flip switch whatever side just kind of resonates the most. All right. So just, we're going to touch on the past. Okay. So your person, it's like they were seeking justice. You know, they, they wanted maybe uh, an apology or an explanation, um, to something or about something, which is going to make up for something. But definitely this feeling of, or this thinking, their mindset was just this being served. But it's interesting because it was like, okay, well, I'm neither here nor there regarding that. Yes, I want that. But if it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, it doesn't. And I'm cool with that. I'm fine with that. With you, it was this indecisiveness, this back and forth, unable to make a decision about something. Um, and at the same time, just kind of focusing on work, putting in work. But again, it's this not sure about something. One minute you're sure, next minute you're not. It's this back and forth, this flip-flop type of mindset. Not able to solidify one option or stand on one way of thinking or do it. Um, yeah. Just bring it to where it is now, though. There is this hesitancy. And you're both very cautious of each other. Not sure how much communication you've had. Not sure when that communication happened, but there is this hesitancy, both kind of feeling it. Am I going to approach them? Should I approach them? Are they going to approach me? Should I approach um, them? You know, this this kind of hesitancy that you both have towards each other. Yeah. Not sure, unsure, slow moving. And even if there has been com communication, it's just, you know, very cautious. You're both cautious, slow moving. Uh, bits of communication, nothing extravagant, no long conversations, it's that type of thing. You're showing up as the world. So for me, that's that, that means you've kind of, uh, you've had a change in perspective in a big way. It's like you've seen enough, you've done enough. There's been some form of growth in some way, which has caused you to see things different now. You're seeing things from a totally different perspective. You know, you're looking on top of things. So you have a different clarity when it comes to certain things. Your challenge is, is actually seeing or is this person, mm. it's not even so much this is this person, it's with this perception, this change, this huge shift in how you see things, it's like there's this recognition that this person has an impact on your life. This person has a positive impact as well with the sun, but it needs fixing. This situation needs fixing. And that in itself is a challenge as, as the cards fall out of my hand. Um, that in itself is a challenge. And that's what we need, need to work on. You know, transformation around this. 
I'm going to put that like that. I feel like it covers both. It's transformation around around this. You know, letting the past go. Because with, with, with the death card, it talks about, you know, I, I personally love the death card because, you know, when we see the death card, it means the death of the old, but with the death, it comes a rebirth of something else. This change, this big transformation. This is a major arcana. So um, we're not talking minor here. But there's challenges around for you. Yes, I recognize the impact that this person has had on my life, but am I able to get this back? Am I able to fix this enough in order for us to be in a place where we can build some, build on this? Your person is indecisive. Again, it's like, you know, they're back and forth, not knowing you know, whether to approach, whether not to approach. One minute they decide, okay, I'm going to do it. Next minute it's like, okay, I'm not, not quite sure. I don't think it's the best idea because there is this, I'm not sure whether why they see you in that way. They see you as the queen of swords, which talks about being a bit maybe controlling or just a bit cold, a cold. Not to say I feel like you're meaning to be, but that could represent someone else as well in the way. I feel like that's you though. Not to say that that is you, but that's just how they, maybe certain things that you've said or done, which has caused them to see you in that light to its, to some degree. Not doesn't take away from the fact that they still, we've got the key of pentacles here, but um, it's this question. It's a question mark for them. Are they able to have that with you? We've got three, four cards that come out. Okay, we'll put that back. Are they able to have that with you? Yeah, it's been quite frustrating dealing with certain, and again, it's something you might not be aware of, but they've, you know, again, with what you're doing or maybe just how you're coming across, but there is this, this person's got their barriers up. They see you as having your barriers up, which is a barrier to this, <laughs> this pen of pentacles that they're, you know, wanting. <laughs> you're both very hesitant. Both very hesitant. Again, going back to the center card. But for different reason. For different reason to some degree. The silver lining though is that I feel like this person maybe got on board before you do you did in terms of just seeing what this can be. You had to go through your process, your journey, divine timing in order for you to get to this point. But they want an emotional fulfillment. But again, I don't know speak, so we need that. What they're wanting is emotional fulfillment. But they feel there's a lot of challenges and hurdles to overcome, battles to fight in order for them to have that. So who knows what direction this person goes in? Is it worth it? I guess the question is. Let's see if we can clarify and see if we can get anything more out of these two cards. So we'll be implementing the um, extended versions next week, guys. So then we can kind of get a fuller pitch and see where this moves to. But um, yeah, do you see that? Want an opportunity to create something new. But again, we've got this. There we go. We've got the challenges, the battles that they need to come. And it's like, I want a solution to that. I don't feel like this person wants, to, not to say it's a physical battle, but in that way, um, but they're wanting an easier path, a, a better path. It's like they're foreseeing things to be a battle. I'm not on the field, you know, where with you, you're wanting an opportunity to build with this person. At the same time, they're trying to balance your emotions around this as well. Balancing your emotions. I feel like you're a lot more calmer, again, with this newfound perception that you have or that's been established. Doesn't want to talk, okay. Um, so it's interesting. You're both kind of wanting the same thing, but dealing with slightly different challenges when it comes to moving this forward. The question is, is are they able to find the solutions to this perceived battle that they feel they are going to have to embark on when it comes to getting this on track? Um, and with you... You know, are you able to 
Oh, you've really changed, Gemini. You've really kind of gone through a whole, you know, because now we've got love there. It's like you're serious. You wanted to build with this person. You wanted to offer love. Is this person, the question is, is, is this person going to feel like it's worthwhile to step into the battlefield and actually fight for this ultimately? Ultimately. Usually, you know, it's these types of readings where I had wished that, um, you know, done part two, the extended version, that way we can actually see where this moves to, see what this person actually does, uh, the next step is. Yeah. So hopefully this has given you some form of clarity. For those of you who don't know, I do weekly singles and love readings. If that's something that interests you, as I say, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Other than that, guys, have a beautiful, beautiful day, and I shall see you next week. Bye. Thank you.